You know we had to do something for Cinco de Mayo. So why not our all-time favorite taco cook, Chicken Street Tacos? You wanna see how we do it on the Pit Boss Sierra Griddle? Stick around while we dig, dig in. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here, no matter where we're doing it. But today we're at the Backyard Diner. Yes, and we are poolside. Doing poolside, and we are doing one of my favorites. One well, of it's actually our, one of our favorites. favorites. Thank you very much. These Chicken Street Tacos. Now, we discovered these about a year ago or some time ago. Yeah, a year, fell, year, year and a half ago, yeah. Fell in love with these chicken thigh, with the chicken thigh meat. Yep. Brett makes these now regularly, uh, pretty much every week at his house. Yes, it goes in between this or chicken fried rice, but this is definitely a highly requested at least once or twice a month at my house we uh, and we just we're just in love with them and since that time Brett has gotten so good at them we've thrown them on the channel before but I wanted him to walk me through this and so he's gonna be doing it here yep. and we're excited to show this one so Brett let's just get to the groceries that tell us about what's going on in this one yeah really right here what you can see up front this is a creamy jalapeno ranch that we made from scratch which Adam will show that process here in a minute this is the chicken thigh which we have hammered down flat we're gonna be placing them on these La Banderita street taco shells. We're going to be uh, squirting a little bit of lime juice. We're using today the Pit Boss Southwest barbecue rub for this Ooh. and a little lime juice on top. And then of course, uh, Mexican cheese and homemade fresh pico de gallo. And I got to tell you, I am so excited for this. With the groceries there, there's nothing more to say. Let's just get to this cook. We'll talk about it as we get through yeah, the Which by the way, again, uh, to reiterate, I'm going to walk Adam through this. Adam's going to glove up. I'm going to just whoosh. not shut up because I'm going to tell you how to do it. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. So I am making a creamy jalapeno ranch. We absolutely love Love this stuff. This is our uh, homemade ranch. We use the HVR. This is our favorite stuff. We use the one that calls for mayonnaise and milk. I add a little bit of pickle juice. We're adding fresh jalapeno minus the seeds and cilantro. So I'm going to show you that process right now. Okay, first thing, milk. One cup milk. All right, so then we get that in there. Pickle juice. And then for this, it calls for three tablespoons of the ranch, but I, one, you can see I'm definitely doing heaping. Then I always grab maybe that much more, sometimes more. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix, it, mix this in. Okay, and then I usually have a spoon out here, but this is all I've got. <laughs> so you use the tools you got. Exactly. So we are taking the seeds and the, and the membrane. membrane. Not the membrane, the, uh, the ribs. Taking the seeds and the ribs out, that is where all the heat is. We don't want this a spicy creamy jalapeno. We just want the jalapeno in the, for the simple flavor of the pepper, which is very delicious, very fresh. And then one thing I like to do also is cut off these ends. So now I'm dealing with squared off and then I've got try to get these as small as possible and then we're going to take some cilantro which is about that much in measurements. <laughs> it's about, I'd say about a half. When we're finally chopped, you're looking at about a quarter to a half cup. Yeah. Uh, about, let's see. You'll see, it'll come down third a lot. Cup? Yeah, yeah. I know. All right, so once the lawn clippings are ready, and that does end up being about a third cup, if that, yeah. If that, toss that in, and then Brett's gonna go get the juice of one lime. The lime of one juice. What? There we go. Get the juice in there. Easier said than done. <laughs> Need to get quarters. Turn it into wedges. There you go. There you go. There you go. Peels are good. There we go. And then taking this bottle of juice, you know what we're calling this, Adam? Good measure. Just for good measure. <laughs> Then you see what the cilantro does is it gives it a very light green hue. And me. 
you and me together making okay. creamy jalapeno rice. so this is ready to go we're gonna pop it in the fridge it's gonna thicken up and those the, uh, flavors really get to know each other and it's gonna taste <laughs> even better than it does right now it is so fresh you get the uh, freshness from the pepper the cilantro and the lime of course the ranch itself and so we're gonna get these chicken tacos down and we will pop them with these when it's ready when they're ready yeah, so right now the griddle is nice and toasty warm. We've had it on. So here's what we're looking at. We've got the far right side, my right side, all the way off. We're gonna be cooking the chicken right here. All right, we're gonna lay down some oil right here, just a little bit. In fact, I probably put too much on. I don't need a whole lot of the oil. This is just, a, but it has been on for quite some time, just to kind of help prevent some sticking. Yes, this is non-stick, but you still might get just a little bit. Right, do we have tongs? Yep, because I didn't glove up, so I'm just not gonna touch it. Right. How about that? Yep. That smells so good. Yes. Today we are using the Southwest Barbecue Rub by Pit Boss, and this smells so good. Let me go ahead and make sure we cover every ounce of this. Now, chicken does not have a lot of natural flavor, so let me shake this up a bit. Getting the thick, the big pieces up top. Get an even more even mix here. All right. <sighs> Now we'll just let that sit for a minute. We'll flip it. Are we doing the other side? We don't do the other side. So then when we flip it, we do the other side. And then um, and then before we flip it one last time, we hit it with lime juice. Lime juice on the other side with the seasoning. We flip it and then lime juice one more time. All right, so Brad, this has been on for what? Would you say about three minutes total right yep, now? Yeah, three minutes. And you can see it's coming up about halfway, at which point I flip. Next, we flip. All right, so we're gonna flip our chicken. It is cooked all the way through. There we go. Nice. Here we go. Well, it's not cooked all the way through yet. Right. I'm sorry. The le the ba the side is cooked. So now we're gonna season this side. Mm-hmm. Now that we've sauced the other side, we're gonna go ahead and lay down a little bit. I said sauce. Season the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay some uh, lime juice on there. If we had, oh bro, that smell is so good. Is that good enough? Yep. All right, so this has been on about three minutes the first side, three minutes the second side. I'm gonna give it one more turn just so I can put a little bit more lime juice on it and then we're gonna pull it and uh, get to the next step. All right, and one last little bit of lime juice on this side before we pull and chop up the chicken. That smells divine. And delicious. <laughs> All right, so last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and pull the chicken. And uh, Brett, I think this is what we call B-roll, isn't it? And also done. <laughs> and done. Well, we gotta cut it up and dress these and get ready to eat them up. So there we go. There's our chicken. I'm glad I'm not cleaning that griddle. Well, it's an easy griddle to clean, so let's do this. Yes. While Brett's cleaning the griddle, I'm just gonna toss these down real quick. Warm these up, these little fellers. They don't need long. And now this side is just, just warm, so this isn't hot. This side wasn't on. Those are nice and toasty. So we'll do those. Pull those. Hoo -hoo -hoo, nice and toasty. And we'll get the last four on, and then we'll be ready to build. I woke up feeling on top of the world Like nothing's ever gonna bring me down This feeling got me flying high as a bird I may never touch the ground It may not be my birthday But I just want to celebrate Well, there they are in all the glory. All the glory. And I gotta say, you know, it's fun. We've done these now a few times. It was so simple to go through the process. And sometimes you kind of forget to talk because, well, we've just been making these. And you know, this is so much fun. I love getting to do this. Now, I love that we, we made eight quick. We've got enough chicken for another dozen, not uh, half dozen well, with or the so. four, I mean, we have a whole pack of chicken. With the, right. the, the point I want to show you in this 
with this is that, uh, first of all, thigh meat is uh, more cost effective than yeah, brass. Sure. It's, it's cheaper. It's it's more flavorful to us. Right. You hammer them down. You get these on. They were on. Uh, they were on the surface for less than ten minutes. Right. You season the one side. You flip it. You season the other side. Before you flip it, you hit with lime juice. Lime juice on the other side. You pull. You chop it up and you build. It's such a fast process. Right. And they're so cute because they're little and just in time for Cinco de Mayo. Right. And you can have about a dozen of these and not. You so sure guilty. can. <laughs> you but, sure can. Brett, let's just dig in. Like let's we say, it can look amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. They really do. Like we say, say they can smell amazing. Oh, can I get a smell? Yeah. Smell? Yeah, you can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for not. Oh man, I see my bite right there. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. <laughs> mm. Oh, bro. Shut up. You shut up. I tell you, that creamy jalapeno ranch just adds a nice coolness to it. It's got cilantro, jalapeno, lime juice in it, and pickle juice in the ranch. I mean, this. Come on, man. And that rub, by the way, that uh, Pit Boss Southwest rub is absolutely perfect, perfect, perfect for this. Mm. I got the sun beam beaming in on me in this nice on this nice, beautiful evening. That is the most refreshing taco in the world. That street taco, that is my favorite. That's why we wanted to bring it back, put it on the Pit Boss Sierra griddle, try it. By the way, a Walmart exclusive, this Pit Boss Sierra, we've been nothing short of impressed with this. Yep. Absolutely love this unit. Love that we get to cook on this. And Pit Boss came in, came in big on this one, right? Yeah, the did. Southwest rub and oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh. This it was, was perfect. awesome. You got to try it. Let us know what you think. Yeah, for sure. And again, that process for the jalapeno ranch, all of that will be in the description below this video. Make sure and check out that recipe and try it for yourself. And again, like Brett just said, let us know your thoughts. Yep. If this did help give you one more idea of something you can do on your griddle, make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us in our channel is through our merchandise. There's a link to our store in the description description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions, works closely with Crossroads Missions, and Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their amazing service work. And Brett. Yes, sir. We do have a Patreon Yeah, page. we do. Shout out to our Griddle, Griddle Entourage. Entourage. We love you guys so much. He goes big and goes home on that one. Yeah. Man, we love you guys so much for your support. And if you'd like to find out how you can support us through Patreon, that information is posted below as well. Right. We absolutely love our Griddle Entourage. Thank you guys so much. And for everybody else being here, thank you. We love getting to come and share our passion with you. Brett, aside from coming to make your chicken street Banger. tacos, I call them Brett's chicken street tacos because <laughs> they are a banging. Yes, they are. They're absolutely amazing. And when we actually originally did this on the show we did come up with the way that we were going to do this at the last minute we said you know what right before we flip them we're going to hit them with lime juice and that was absolutely the call of the day on that and still today it holds true we we, we, we add that every time we make these tacos right so aside from that <laughs> oh well, yeah, why else are we doing this because all we do is twin no, no matter, matter what. what and with that we bid you adieu and don't forget to like and subscribe and grill on